Hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky, along with my broadcast partner, Keith Tabasic. Welcome to Koskinen Stadium, getting ready for the rivalry, Duke and North Carolina. North Carolina comes in number four, Duke number 11. Yeah, well, this is always a big rivalry, of course. These are two teams that each have one national title to their name. They're trying to get back to another one. John Kerr Jr. led Duke as a player. He's trying to now lead him as a coach. Elmer Bolovich with UNC, two back-to-back -back college cups. All right, as you take a look now at the NSCAA, HendryCars.com, top 25, no surprise, Carolina number four. No, Carolina number four, and look at number one and number three, Akron and Tulsa, that's our FSC NSCAA game of the week next week. Monmouth, Robbie McCord has them undefeated at number five. Harvard, one of two Ivy League teams, Carl Juneau in his first year getting them in the top 10. And Irvine, who started out the season at number 25, is up to number 10. All right, let's flip the chart, and who do you like in the second 10. Well, I'll tell you the two teams I like right now. This is Creighton 4-0. And, and by the way, that's not Bob Warming there anymore. That's Jamie Clark, who left Harvard to go to Creighton. They play SMU this weekend. Tim McClements, he's back in the national picture with SMU. But the one thing you got to look at, number 14, Wake Forest, they lost midweek to Charlotte. Jay Vidovich has his work cut out to get back to the College Cup. And in the final five, keep the bats like throwing some love to the Ivy League. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just stay with it? Penn, Rudy Fuller, they're 4-0 for the second team in the Ivy League in the top 25. And there's Bob Warming. He's at Penn State now at number 23. Your NSCAA HendrickCars.com top 25 brought to you by HendrickCars.com. 80 franchises, 5,000 cars, over 100,000 photos, one website. HendrickCars.com, the fastest way to buy a used vehicle. Let's take a look now at the NSCAA Players of the Week. And the goalkeeper for UC Irvine stood on his head, Keith. He was phenomenal. Yeah, I tell you, this goalkeeper is having a great start to the season. That could be big for Irvine as they've gone into the top ten in the country. Meanwhile, the NSCAA Women's Player of the Week is a player that's featured right here on Fox Soccer ch Channel, Mackenzie Barney. Check this out in overtime against Florida State. Puts it away. For the winner over her rival, Mackenzie Barney, the NSCAA Women's Player of the Week. And your final score, the number four team in the country, the UNC Tar Heels come over to Durham and knock off their rivals, Duke, by a score of one to nothing. And Keith Tabasic, as we roll to the highlights, yeah, it was one to nothing, but plenty of action in this one. Yeah, there was a lot of action in this. I mean, uh, Duke had a chance early, but then it was, uh, and that's uh, Molinar taking the chance. That was second half. But in between the chances of Duke, it was all uh, North Carolina. Here's the ball served in. Eddie Ababio tries to get to it first. On the ball there, the goalkeeper, James Belshaw. We see him a lot right there again with a fantastic stop. He had a tremendous night. Unfortunately, he couldn't stop this one. Brett King with the ball in. Ball goes off Josh Thrice into Bruno Castro for his first goal of the year. The Costa Rican international gets the game. One of the first guy out to meet him, Cameron Brown. He doesn't look like he's out for the season. Good running, Cameron. All right, and the men's college soccer review is brought to you by the National Soccer Coaches Association of America. Remind you that the biggest soccer show is, in fact, the NSCA convention coming up January 12th through the 16th in Baltimore. To learn more, go online to NSCAA.com.